You ready? Yeah. Who's he? My friend Hammock. Yo, yeah, well, he's not my friend. So what the fuck is he doing here? Can you wait in the car? Please. Sure. We good now? Peach. This is a P4. You can fire up to 21 8mm rounds. It's small, which means it's easily hidden and there's little to no kick when firing. You can buy it at pretty much any gun store. This one's special. Each part was bought separately and assembled later. Any markings they used to have were filed down and lasered off. This isn't just any gun. It's a walking felony. Do you understand what that means? Listen, no offense, but I know what I'm fucking buying. That's all well and good, but you're not buying it yet. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. If you start feeding me a bunch of bullshit, no gun. Got it? You know, for a guy who earns his money by breaking the law, you're pretty uptight. Being uptight is why I'm not in a six by eight box. So you can bitch and moan all you want, but my gun, my rules. All right, asshole, ask away. So why are you buying from me and not Walmart? Because I have priors. What are you gonna use it for? Well, what are you gonna ask me what month I was born in next? I'm a Capricorn, by the way. Fine. Me and my ex, we don't get along so well. Okay, so go to a clerk's office and file for a restraining order. I have, you fucking prick. Guess what happened next, huh? He fractured my jaw and broke my wrist. Four months. Four fucking months of eating through a straw because I decided to do the right thing. One of these days, it's gonna hit me. And I'm not gonna be able to get back up. Do you understand? Are you gonna sell me the fucking gun or not? Sorry, kid. I can't do it. Fuck you! How old are you? 22. Let's say you kill him. Then what? Spend the rest of your life in prison? If you give me the three grand and his address, I'll handle it. Bullshit. Listen, kid, I'm not a fucking charity, all right? I don't do things unless I'm paid to. If you give me the address, and if what you said was true, I'll handle it. Auburn Avenue, building 212, apartment 62. If that phone rings in the next three days, it's because he's dead. And if it doesn't? Then he wasn't worth the trouble.
if you move, I'll put a hole in your head. Not if you understand. I understand. You got a knife in your right pocket. Take it out slowly and let it hit the floor. How'd you get in here? Locks are easy to pick. That's why they sell alarm systems. Now have a seat. If you're looking for money, it's a safe in the back room. If I wanted your money, I probably would have taken it by now. Okay. So what? You broke in so we could have a little chit chat? Something like that. From what I understand, you know a girl named Ellie Willer. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Why'd she pay you to fuck me up? Teach me a lesson? I'm not a violent man, Marcus. But if you keep running your mouth, I'm gonna zip tie your hands and kick your teeth down your fucking All right. Throat. I get it. So what do you want? A few months ago, our mutual friend was put in the hospital. Why? She stole 500 from my wallet when I was sleeping. When I found out, I got a little upset. Then what? I don't know. I guess I hit her. You didn't just fucking hit her, Marcus. You stomped on her face until her jaw fractured. I'm sorry. But who are you to judge me and what I do when you're holding a fucking gun to my chest? Let's make one thing clear. I do a lot of things I'm not proud of. But you gotta demand respect to get respect. And that justifies what you did. I never said it justified anything. But what was I supposed to do, just let it slide? Let her walk all over me? No, I got enough of that in prison. I don't need it out here too. Okay. Listen. I don't know who you are. But you're not a killer. You might feel tough, sitting there with your gun. But I can see it in your eyes. You don't got the look. You don't know me, Marcus. So shut the fuck up and stop pretending to- Wait! Wait! Fucking... Wait. How about this? Whatever she paid you, I'll double it. Hell, I got the money, you know I'm good for it, I fucking swear! You don't get it, Marcus. I'm not here to put a bullet in your head because I was paid to. I'm here to do it because you're a sick dog. I came here looking for the good and evil, but there's no good. There's only people like us 